Good morning, children. I've been missing you. Today's study is on Gideon and the 300 men. God had chosen Gideon to deliver Israel. If you were here the last time we did a lesson, you'll remember that God had sent an angel to Gideon to tell him that he was going to be the one to deliver Israel from the Midianites. Gideon was to lead his soldiers against the Midianites because the Midianites had been very unkind to the pe God's people, and now God was going to deliver them. God had promised Gideon that he would be with him. So Gideon sent for all the soldiers to come and help him fight the Midianites. Well, many of the soldiers, many soldiers came, and Gideon looked at all the soldiers. He knew he would need more soldiers, for there were many more Midianites then there were soldiers in Gideon's camp. But God said, There are too many soldiers. Send those who are afraid home. So Gideon, he was very surprised, and he says, he, But he did what God told him to do, and he told the men, if he were frightened, to go home. So some of the men, they left. And went home. They were very happy because a lot of them were afraid. After those soldiers left camp, Gideon looked and was amazed at how few soldiers were left to help him fight. But still God said, there are too many. Uh, march your men down to the water and I will tell you who shall go with you and who shall go home. So when the men got down to the, lay, in the water, some of the men got down on their knee uh, and put their faces in the water and were splashing water over themselves and they just drank all they wanted. And God said, send these men home. He didn't want the ones that were not staying alert. So more men left and went home. But some of the men, they got down and they cupped the water in their hands and drank out of their hands even while they were still staying alert. And God said, these will be the men that will help you set Israel free. Gideon obeyed. After he had sent the rest of the soldiers home, he counted to see how many soldiers were left. Well, 22,000 had left when he told those that were afraid to go home. And now even more left and went home. So Gideon, when he counted the men, he had only 300 men left. But God said to Gideon, by the 300 men who drank water from their hands, I will give you victory against the Midianites. Well, that night, while the troops were sleeping, God told Gideon to take one of his servants and spy out the Midianite camp. Gideon obeyed, and he saw that there were many tents in the enemy's camp, Many more tents than he could even count. It would be a miracle if he could win the battle with an army of only 300 men. So in the darkness, as Gideon approached one of the enemy tents, pitched on the outskirts of the camp, he could hear two men talking. Apparently, the men had just awakened, and one man was telling his dream to the other man. The first man said, I dreamed that while we were sleeping... A loaf of bread rolled down the hill and smashed our tent. The second man answered, That can only mean one thing, that Gideon will come down the hill and defeat our army. Well, when Gideon heard this, he knew that God would, would help him. He was ready to fight the Midianites with just 300 men. So Gideon prayed and got instructions. He divided the soldiers into three groups. There was a group out in front, there was a group that was behind, and there was a group off to, the, off to one side 
to enter the camp when Gideon told them to. He, he gave each person a torch and a trumpet and an empty jar, and they put the jar over the torch so that it could not be seen. He said, we will surround the enemy camp on three sides in the darkness. When I and my group blow our trumpets, you must blow yours and shout, the sword of the Lord and Gideon. Well, the three groups of Gideon soldiers went to the three sides and waited. When Gideon gave the signal, the soldiers blew their trumpets, broke the pictures and shouted, the sword of the Lord and Gideon. Well, the lighted torches which had been hidden in the pictures, seemed to light the whole mountainside. Well, the Midianites awoke with a start at the sound of the trumpets and the breaking pictures and the shouting. When they saw the flare of the torches all around them, they thought a huge army had come against them. They were terrified and started fighting each other. Many soldiers were killed in their own camp. Gideon and his men won the battle because God had been with them and helped them. God doesn't need great numbers of people to be successful. All he needs is one willing person, like Gideon. After this successful battle, Gideon was the judge in Israel for the next 40 years. Well, when God calls you to do his work, he will give you wisdom to know how to do it and when to do it if you ask him.